Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. So today, the day before the last year, spend majority of the day going to the playground next to Eiffel Tower, where I took my kids pony ride, um, as well as merry-go-round and the go-kart. They had a lot of fun. If you're around Paris, I think it's a good um, place to take your kids. All right, so that's pretty much it. And I went back to Gallery Lafayette and I get to try Armani Privé Magenta Tanzanite and Indigo Tanzanite. I get to smell it, not because they have a tester, it's because a friend of mine bought this. So. I get the opportunity to try it on my skin and um, I figure I might as well take a video of it. So thanks Tanya for letting me do this. Um, so yeah, I also tested my beloved Chloe Vanilla Planifolia, which I really, really love them. I went back three times and all three times I loved it. I wanted it bad. But as soon as I want it, it's out of stock because it's one of the most popular scent here. So go figure it. I figure I could buy it in the States. Yeah, I talked about this perfume three times already for my entire trip. I'm pretty much obsessed with this perfume. I also get to try this perfume uh, based on um, Tanya recommendation, Magnolia Alba. So supposedly this got discontinued in the US. Now, I really, really, really like this scent. Based on Fragrantica, the notes listed are just one, Magnolia. It's first spray. I wasn't a big fan of it just because it has a clean lilac soapy type of scent. But as it's drying down, it's still a lilac soapy type of scent in my opinion, even though it's like Magnolia Alba. Well, I'm sure it's Magnolia, but to me, it reminds me so much of Pacifica French Lilac that I used to own. I'm not saying that it's the same scent, but it's pretty similar that it reminds me of that scent. If you love Pacifica French Lilac and looking for the niche version of it, so try out Chloe Magnolia Alba. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, it's not a scent profile that I gravitate towards, although I really, really like that one, but I do prefer Vanilla Planifolia, so that one's high in my wish list. I also get to try two more perfume, Armani Privé Magenta Tanzanite. A first spray, it was really pleasant. Uh, top notes are cardamom, ginger, bergamot. Hard notes are coffee, cinnamon, myrrh. Base note is tonka bean, vanilla extract, and tobacco. Absolutely. So I really, really like it. I think this is going to be the most popular Armani Privé perfume. My favorite out of all the Armanis are Rouge Malachite, which I love and adore. But the problem with Rouge Malachite is it's like a beast, like alien, two gross version, like a fancy more sophisticated version of Alien um, with tuberose. Like I have to be in the mood for it because it's such a statement making. But this one is like a more vanilla version. I actually, this two are vanilla version of the Armani Privé line. So I think this two would be a big hit. First spray, this one um, has that big blast of cinnamon. The cinnamon here is pretty strong. It also has like coffee, myrrh, but to me, it reminds me of Killian Angel Share. It has that vibe, like it's unisex leaning, so it's not too feminine. It reminds me of Killian Angel Share. If I take just the cinnamon and the vanilla and the rum and Angel Share, that's what it smells like. Um, but there is also a mar here that makes it slightly more unisex, but it's still a, an angel share. And that it's drying down. And starting to remind me of uh, Minuit et Demi. This is pretty popular DNA. Actually, as it's drying down, it reminds me a lot of other perfume. Number one is angel share. Number two is Umber Nargil. 
House of Oud Dates the Light, uh, Minuit et Demi, and and um, the Pentalogon, the the one that's similar to Minuit et Demi. It does smell like there is an apple. I don't know. There's no apple here, but maybe the bergamot, ginger, cardamom makes it like an apple. But this one still smells like apple pie. I sprayed one spray of Armani Privé and I also sprayed one spray of Chloe. And right now it's subtle. It's much more subtle compared to Chloe. Chloe, you could still smell it. I don't think performance wise, this is Armani Privé that I'm used to. But then again, I only had one spray, so I can justify it. So if you have smelled this, um, and if you think performance is good, let me know. But to me, it's so subtle, I could barely smell it already. But yeah, it smells like Amber Nargile, Angel Share. I do smell apple cinnamon pie, to be honest. Or the whole accord smells like apple cinnamon type of scent, you know, like, yeah, those. All right, guys, so next one is indigo tanzanite. Actually, surprisingly, also likes this, but I prefer the magenta tanzanite. The notes that are less than fragrantica, bergamot, almond, heliotrope, milk, benzoin, patchouli, toli balsam, and labdanum. So this one, the first spray, it's actually really, really pleasant. This one is more unique compared to magenta tanzanite. Indigo tanzanite, first spray, what I'm smelling is nutmeg. Nutmeg is not listed here, I know that. But I think the combination between like the almond, patchouli, heliotrope, the whole accord, Smells like nutmeg to me. Maybe it just smells like bergamot, almond, heliotrope, patchouli type of scent. But to me, the whole thing smells like a nutmeg, vanilla scent. Cardamom, nutmeg, vanilla type of scent. So, Fragrantica compared this with Ani. I don't smell Ani in here because Ani has that strong bergamot. This one has the bergamot, but I don't smell it. Uh, to me, this whole thing, it smells more like Musk Ravager from... Fredigma, like powdery vanilla with nutmeg. That's what it smells like to me. All right, guys. Um, like I said, performance is not good for both of these. It's not as good. Like Chloe Vanilla Planivolia is super strong, but the other two are not that strong. Hey guys, so deep, deep dry down is Minuit and Demi. So I find that uh, magenta tanzanite changes a lot from the beginning till the end when it first started it's plum it's plum and vanilla it reminds me of those plum japanois a little bit um, and then killian angel share the cinnamon starts to get more um, prominent it's starting to become killian angel share uh, house of oud dates the light and then the apple becomes more prominent, like it, it's starting to become like amber nargile, like those apple cinnamon vanilla type of scent. It's a deep dry down is Minuit et Demi minus the Oud. It's so subtle. You could also think of it as a weaker version of amber nargile. Yeah, but it also reminds me of Minuit et Demi minus the Oud and the indigo tanzanite i mean it's a very subtle nutmeg or bitter powdery spices with vanilla i think the bitterness comes from patchouli so those of you that don't like patchouli the patchouli here is pretty prominent um, it's not scratching in any way it's just bitter you could also think of it like a nutmeg so yeah it's also smell like nutmeg vanilla it's really really nice vanilla powdery thick it's milky it's sweet so some people in the fragrantic also refer it as like a furred malachite which is like a milkshake so it's like furred malachite take out the floral and then add spices like 
not Meg, but Julie. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.